Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Amex Inno Super Leggera 2305.5 motors. Super Leggera in Italian means super light and in this quick video I'm going to bench test these lightweight motors on my Moto's thrust end and after assembling the 1950 kV version of the Super Leggera motors on this new build, head outdoors and test them out. The Super Leggero motors are available in 3 kV options, 2550 kV, which is compatible with up to 5 inch propellers using 4S batteries and up to 7 inch propellers using 3S batteries, and 1750 and 1950 kV, which are compatible with up to 5 inch propellers using 6S batteries, up to 6 inch propellers using 5S batteries, and up to 7 inch propellers using 4S batteries. As implied by their name, the Super Leggero motors are pretty light, including the full length of the 15cm long 22 gauge silicon coated wires, the weight of this motor is 27.3 grams, so it is significantly lighter than this 2306 motor, which is of course a little bit bigger than the 2305.5 motor, but still the weight difference is very significant. In terms of specs, the Super Leggero motors are using a 16 by 16 mm motor mounting pattern, a two level base which I believe is designed to increase the durability of the motor, and for some reason Amex Eno chose to secure the motor belt to the stator using a Phillips screw instead of the traditional hex screw. In addition, I was explicitly asked not to separate the motor belt from the stator in the video, but I did separate them in order to confirm that the diameter of the stator is 23 millimeters and its height is 5.5 millimeters. Here is a closer look of the motor. Inside you can find 14 magnets and as far as I can tell, its quality looks great. Now after this quick introduction, the next thing that I've done is to assemble a set of the 1950 kV version of the Amex Inno Super Legera motors on this new build, which in addition to the Super Legera motors features the new SpeedyB mini stack and the Amex Inno F5S 5 inch frame. Overall, after testing out these motors, I can tell you that I'm not convinced that they are very efficient, but still, they are very powerful for their size, so they can be good for a lightweight 7 or 6 inch build, and of course, I can also use them on this traditional 5 inch freestyle build. Anyway, now I'm going to wrap up this video with the thrust test results, which are as always linked down below some photos from the building of this new quadcopter and then show you some flight footage. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you over next videos and goodbye.